People think I'm a witty guy. I've always had a wry sense of humor, my dad being a humongous supply of corny jokes. Because of my sarcastic demeanor, my friends have to be keener in whether I'm being serious or not. My mask is made up of a stand-up routine. But if you read between the lines and touch on the fine print, the book of my life has more pages than you can read. See, there's an Andy within me that is often iffy about speaking up. When you ask me, how's the weather? I don't know whether to give an accurate forecast of feelings. Should I say it's a sunny day with a chance of gladness? Or should I reveal the stormy sadness that I conceal on a daily basis? Faces of friends surround me, although the lonely sensation pounds at me. Can anyone truly know me? How do I share what I am feeling on the inside? Show what resides beside my heart? Apart from saying it, but my words would never live up to the amount of life that I've accounted for. Four years ago, my goals were clear. I was an all-wise 21-year-old with no fear. But now, hit with the hardness of human condition, I'm in remission of that mission in realizing that my own strength is not very strong. But I long for the victory I dreamt of way back when I didn't focus on the things that I lacked. Is it still true? Does anyone else feel this way? Looking for relief from your own insecurity? Wondering what you'll amount to be or if it'll even matter? Mom always said, you can do it. Do what? What is it? If I write a skit for Morgan Horse and all sorts of people have laughter, in the end, what does it matter? What is the significance behind it? What is my purpose? Then again, my whole being screams meaning. <sighs> Smiling is too perfect to be pointless. Love can't truly be lifeless. Beauty isn't bland. Direction isn't dead. Am I going to indulge these negative thoughts in my head? Do I really believe that I'm just a random collection of chemicals that collided and combined under specific circumstance by chance for no actual reason? Does my existence have an absence of brilliance? And is science the only guide to explain how I feel inside? Is this real truth? If so, why does my entire being reject it, wanting to protect the purpose I felt I was created for? As stated before, I've had dreams. I've wished upon a star, knowing that somewhere in a galaxy far, far away, there is a story for today. I see the plotline thickening with stunning twists and turns that Tolkien and Tolstoy can only yearn for. For I know that the good guy will win the war. I feel we're all grasping for that happy ending. We grab for the gratitude from greatness. Let us shed this blindness of lacking purpose, embrace the passion of our souls, and see that we have been produced for something amazing. You and I both know this is no accident, no coin flip of precedent, but instead a moment of momentous reason. Let's deepen our understanding of our overwhelming wonder. I'm in a different place now. The negative thoughts have taken their final bow with no one to applaud. The show goes on and I go back to thinking. I yearn for God in awe, sinking into my purpose. In the comments below, we'd love for you to share what you think about purpose. Where does it come from? Thanks for watching.